No, I actually made the title without knowing Dave would be joining today. But now I know it was the best choice I could have made. I should start making a sin counter for the intros we do. Well, just to see how many times we straight up blaspheme. Hey. Uh, hello? <laughs> uh, ho tomato? Hello? David? I fat fingered the mute button as soon as I picked up the call. Yeah, all I heard was like a hit. <laughs> and then it just kind of, you just stopped. Tomato is crazy. I'm sitting in a chair for the first time in the house I moved into in, uh, in four months. Wait, is that because you didn't, is this because of the back thing? Or is this because you haven't owned a chair in your house? Mainly the second one, yeah. You know, what? I would. How have you not had one chair for months? For four months. I, I like to call it strength of will. Not one. Not a single one. Not even like a foldable chair. Nope. I like to call it commitment. I like to call it a lot of things. Very, 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 very v tiny bank account number. I mean, you've got like you got huge legs though now from all the standing. The problem is, I already did. And it's aggravated my existing problem of dumpalicious. Uh, um, yeah, the gigantic dumpy. You watch Severance, right? Yeah, yeah. You know Milchik, the yep. guy. Yeah, the guy. Absolutely incredible ass on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like honestly, it, it distracted me from the show to the point where I had to same like. Same problem. Same problem. Like, right? I just kind of like <laughs> look away from the monitor while they were on screen, and because the the <laughs> cameraman, I don't know if they just weren't editing properly no. but like the cameraman <laughs> kept like actively like panning the camera down to his ass <laughs> there's a scene where he's running and i have i was like that looks like me i'm gonna be honest i haven't seen your ass many times matter of fact i don't believe it all but oh. <laughs> you gotta be you're gonna be bold if you're gonna be like dude i got i got milchick ass <laughs> I, I don't want to fucking put you on the spot but that's fucking bold of you to just say I would like to call Sam Strip into the stands. He, uh, he is unavailable to take the stand. Sam, I like to I like to call Sam my number one fan of my ass. Um, okay. Uh, and and to the point where it's a little much. It's a little. <laughs> <laughs> where does this come from, huh? Because he kept making fun of me. Did he? Because he was like, I I was at Sam's house. Mm -hmm. I'd be in the kitchen. I'd be walking to like Sam's office where he's streaming, and he's like, "Can you keep it down? I could hear you clapping from a mile away." It is. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, I know Sam would fucking say that <laughs> yeah. because he said stuff like that in my presence before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. About almost everyone else's ass in the room. <laughs> Like he can't help himself. However, that because I know Sam would say that about almost anyone, I don't know if he's a very good <laughs> representation of what no, your ass not. is actually he's gonna not. be yeah. like. Like I have I have evidence. I have photo evidence of my ass. Yeah. All right. I have a yeah. I have a leather chair that somehow has a perfect literally, Dave, you could you could use that leather chair five thousand million years in the future to like like perfectly clone me they're gonna think that you lived in a tar pit because of how well preserved <laughs> that ass is gonna be Dude, <laughs> it's it's bad because i've talked about this a lot on stream and i don't know what to fucking do it's like i can't get rid of this chair it's garbage i don't use it i can't just throw it in the dump i can't god knows i can't sell it are you sure you can't sell it Here's, I I mean here's the I thing. Know, I know where you think Dave, that's Dave, going, Dave, but Dave, that's, Dave, I was going Dave. somewhere else. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, yes, I could sell it, but it would be for a very different demographic than what I'd want to sell it to. You know what I mean? You, have you ever? I I bought a couch once that was an old couch that people had sat in a lot, mm -hmm. and it's more comfortable when the couch is already broken. You're in. telling me someone's gonna be someone's gonna be happy that they can nestle their ass into the perfect imprint I left for them on the house. You have to find the right ass, but. Yes, you do. You have to like Should do a screening. I, so I'm gonna have to be like, this is a chair for only people with this exact kind of ass <laughs> ratio. Looking for, looking for my build. <laughs> looking for people with my dumpy build. Uh, yeah. Please don't waste my time. Imagine if I did that to my car. Anyone walking by in a parking lot that somehow accidentally peers into my car, maybe because they were trying to steal it or something, <laughs> would see they start the ass of the person the who owns it. They, they just start catcalling the ass imprint in the car. <laughs> 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 There's a stakeout to see who's going to get in. <laughs> 
I gotta find a way to destroy it. I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> it it truly is like in the middle of my room, and I swear it rolls closer to my bed every night. Do you think you've got like there's a magnetism to your ass? Like you'll wake up uh, one day and the chair is spooning you in bed. Oh. It's, it's perfectly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I, I exist for one purpose. I, I'd notice it if it did that because it weighs more than I do. I was always afraid oh. that here's the thing is that I was always afraid because I had read stories of like when you use an office chair and you sit down on it, sometimes the pressurized air in like the, the support of it that lets you like adjust <laughs> it up and down could like yeah. the canister could detonate and like uh, basically fuck you so hard you die. Uh, it'll just oh, blast a hole oh. right through your ass. Oh, uh, like up? Like, yeah, like just destroy you, just shatter you. That's not uh, real, just right? Tear that, you in, I don't know, because dead? the one I got was so huge, this fucking canister, that I was like, if this thing, first of all, the leather's already degrading, so obviously there's something wrong with this one. Oh my if God. the canister also broke, the last thing I cannot have my, the last thing people ever discover from me <laughs> is my ass print chair has a hole in the ass where a bullet of pressurized oxygen truly filleted me like a fish bottom to top. Did you ever have a, a bike with a seat that like broke in exactly that way? Uh, yes. And it's just the metal, the evil metal rod. It's it's dancing with you're 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 playing with you're fire. You're playing a dangerous game, yeah, right? In, yeah. You're in a dangerous place because yeah. I've <laughs> seen someone bike and like you know when you stand up to bike faster. Yes. They've stood up and their giant in, like incredible thighs. I'll be honest. Somehow managed to scoop the seat off of the bike and it, point, oh and it fell God. off behind them and they didn't notice because they were biking too fast and they just biked away and I had to watch as this person disappeared to the sunset knowing when they crested that horizon that at some point they were going to sit down and probably die. I can't say he uses truck nuts, but I feel like he would use truck nuts if he owned truck nuts. You know what I mean? What's a, what's a truck nut? You know, you don't know what truck nuts are? No. Well, you, that's because you're not in America, that. my guy. But I'll tell what you a, what, he would use truck nuts, this guy. But his is trucks... Is food? I, I hope not, bud. Truck look it up. Nuts. Just look up truck nuts. I feel like it. Is it like we love trucks? But it's as a li it's oh. literal. Bud. It's literal. I don't know what it's else testicles. to tell you, guys. Anyone? Any English truck people? It's balls. testicles. My God, it is little latex testicles. That little, on. my guy. Some of those are larger <laughs> than my fucking head. You know what I mean, dude? That's like people who wear those like fish fear him, women want him, <laughs> like those guys. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. There's definitely a section of people unironically using truck nuts, and there's another possibly larger section of people that are ironically using truck nuts. Uh, doing things ironically is feeding into the people who don't do them ironically mm -hmm. and validating them in a way. And I think irony is one of the worst things to ever happen to us as a yeah. people. The first successful irony was Larry the Cable Guy, who is this guy from New York State. Ah, uh, get her, get her done, my guy. Rednecks, and then he was so good at the irony, they believed him, <laughs> and it became huge. It's crazy. Get her done. You know you're a redneck when... And then the next moment he's talking about, like, you know, he worked for a law firm and how, like, he started in New York, went to, like, Princeton and all these colleges and stuff. I mean, yeah, I love that guy. I think he's the funniest fucking guy ever. You know oh, he's I mean, a dude. national treasure. Fucking kills yeah. me every time. Get her done. I love his Larry the Cable Guy flavored uh, chips that he sold. What? <laughs> Is that not a thing? What? I, huh? I feel like he uh, might have chips. I don't know if they're flavored as him. No, not flavored as him, but it's his own brand of chips. You, you said Larry the Cable Guy flavored. <laughs> what does Larry the Cable Guy taste like? Is it the concept of Larry? Uh, it would just be mustard and pickles, <laughs> as far as I can tell, for Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, bud, pickle, like dill... Pickle flavored chips slap so goddamn hard that I may you be just compelled to try them. Spot the American in the call. It's not me. But <laughs> shut the fuck. Have you tried pickle chips? We don't get pickles on a thing here. Pickle pickle chips don't happen in this country. God, I hate your country. You know, <laughs> I'm getting sick of you. What is it like? Lay's delay. What what? Dude, they, how do, bud, what's the bud, brand? Bud. Lay's can go to hell. Lay's can suck my dick. All right. Okay. 
Ah, uh, we have kettle chips. They're great. Kettle chips yeah. because they're, they're the only good chip. We know they're the harder ones, right? They're like they're the harder kids. ones that they, like a normal blood. person that well, like a person that eats Lay's all the time would be like, these are stale. Yeah, they're like, but they're not stale. You're just soft. You got soft yeah. baby teeth that squish when you bite. I I don't think I ever met a single kid that walked into school with Pringles that I didn't fucking hate. Like that truly wasn't the worst person at that school. Like absolute garbage. <laughs> I think Pringles. I think liking and having Pringles made you a worse person. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? I because you had good taste. You good liked taste. My you guy, liked the come things back. Things my my brother in Christ. <laughs> We're not gonna. No, my no, brother no. in Christ. You have to I come back up. to me. <laughs> no, come back no, I'm rising now. up. I'm no. freedom fighting. This no, is you, my this Pringle is not board. a freedom fight, dude. <laughs> this, this is nothing. Uh, but no, but you cannot tell me you like Pringles. I like Pringles. They, oh. No, uh -huh. Pringles I like because they aren't like chips. That's, bro, you sound like, you sound like someone who voted for fucking Trump, dude. I like her. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Get her done, brother. You hold on now. It's not like the rest of them, dude. Guys, we hate to get political. You know this, but the <laughs> Pringle gate must not. You can't let him do this to me. <laughs> 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 don't, call it, don't call it Pringle Gate. <laughs> don't, call, don't call it Pringle Gate. I would argue some people seeing you with like truly monkey feet would result in widespread panic and screaming. By at least all it takes is one faint hearted person, like a grandma, like walking down the street. Ah! They see your feet, <laughs> and then someone else is like, "Hey, what are you doing? Why are you scaring Grim? Oh my god!" And then it spirals from there, and then you're chased out of town with pitchforks uh, and fires. Okay, when they start to chase me, I grab the nearest person I can carry, and I start using my chimp hands and feet to. Climb you have the normal building. human hands, which I, I guess is basically chimp hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of better. Uh, I climb like the Empire State Building or like the nearest like okay. tall skyscraper I can find with a person. It's, keep in mind, Dave, it's going to take you a lot longer to climb the Empire State Building than it did King Kong. I think you're messing up the scale here. <laughs> because King Kong was very big. So it was like it only took him like a couple, like 30 seconds to climb that whole thing. It'd take you like 30 minutes. <laughs> you get like 30 feet up and someone shoot you. <laughs> like, you'd be, okay. you'd be uh, done. I'm using my human shield, but I don't last 30 minutes. I, 12 minutes in, I start getting tired <laughs> and they're slipping now. Kidnapped someone. You tried to pull them up the Empire State Building with your newfound climbing abilities that I guess you have. Yeah. Despite the fact that there's no spots to grip anything on the side <laughs> of the Empire State Building because King Kong was only able to do it because he was a giant monkey with huge arms that could reach around the entire thing. They they stopped firing upon you because they've gone they've gone to now believe that you're the only they just I think they just kill you, bud. I don't think it matters what? if you have a hostage. They're gonna at this let point. this person die? I mean like I it was a child. It was, it was a, a child. Oh, it was a child. Yeah, it's a child now. Ooh. They'd get a lot of bad press if they shot at me and a child was there. Um, I mean, look what happened to her. Oh. Ooh. 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 And. Ooh. Sorry, chat. There goes the VOD, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> New, new, new choice, new timeline. Yep. I get chased out of town. I go away. I go to the underground. You the go underground. to the underground? I go to the underground. Okay, yeah. so you pull a manhole cover off and you go into the underground. I begin to train to use my feet as, as, so I want to punch with my so feet. So you're kind of like a Teenage thing. Mutant Ninja Turtle, except one, you're not a teenager. You're officially old enough to be called like a like a cringe boomer, a, according adult? to most Zoomers. You're okay. an adult now. Um, yeah. You're not a turtle. You're not... Still I guess you could be considered a mutant. Still a mutant. Do I want to bring a human? Do you um, want to bring a human no. with you into the underground? Instead, instead, I find a human through happenstance when I come up for food at, at midnight. Uh huh. Uh, and they become like, you know, hey, uh, you know, tunnel guy, you want some food? And I'm like, yeah, give me pizza, uh, or, or whatever. But and I start training to be a superhero from underground. If a guy came out of a fucking sewer with like monkey 
feet. Let's call him what he is. Boomer mutant su- street. <laughs> Boomer mutant sewer monkey. That's, that's a good <laughs> if one. Boomer mutant sewer monkey uh, came out of a sewer and encountered me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I had to. I but I'm not gonna get you pizza. I'm gonna punch you in the face. People would still be talking about Boomer monkey. Mutant sewer monkey <laughs> a couple I weeks mean, after the fact. If you emerged at any point, I think the hunt would be back on, and now we'd all know your secret. Oh. Do you think people would ever venture into the sewers? If they all saw you go into the sewers, bud, they would go down there immediately to get you. Here's the thing, though. I see I see you, the freak, BMSM yeah, creature. Yeah, BMSM, yeah. Uh, crawl into the sewer. I'm immediately just gonna do the smartest thing. I feel like most people would just do the same, and it's I'm just gonna get a bunch of bleach, pour it in my toilet, and start flushing it down because it's gonna <laughs> take you out. Like I don't, I don't need to go down I don't there and drink kill you. from that. I don't, I don't drink from I, the sewer. Oh yeah, dude. If you're living the sewer life, you're living the sewer life, and you're, you're getting everything out of that goddamn sewer. Aside so from you pizza. think you think the TMN? Yes, I do think those mutant creatures wars. that lived with a giant rat man probably drank sewer piss water to be Dude, honest if let's be real okay okay they drank sewer water i don't think bleach is gonna do it to take him out you know what i mean you're gonna need a little more than bleach you're gonna need like ricin <sighs> so stop flushing ricin down the toilet oh it's really expensive and hard to make checkmate well, but here's the thing turtles are evolved in such a way because they're a normal wild animal that they can basically eat garbage and their body's fine afterwards you know like most I'm normal animals. But unless you established at the beginning of this story that the little <laughs> secret side thing that your mutant powers gave you was a functional appendix, yeah, fucking right, my guy. You fucking die. You die. I'm a mutant. Unless I'm you're a gonna mutant. add an asterisk at the beginning of the story. No, but I'm a mutant now. At the beginning, it says, and the other special power my mutant feet gave me was a, a, an appendix that still works because I'm a human and we stopped using those a thousand fucking years ago. What if I trained? What if you, you know? trained? your appendix no 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 you know there's like a lady that took a spoonful of bleach every day and she's fine what if i like did that with water? <laughs> what are you talking about who it's, it's true it's true i'm there, going that... to train my body to handle any poison just like the movies <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> she drank a little bit of bleach and then she upped the dosage and she's fine. Or she was. She's probably dead now. You know? You, you, <laughs> you have to stop pulling these stories out without like a conclusion to what happened to the fucking psycho you're talking about. <laughs> I love you this, do this an awful lot. I don't, I don't know what happened to her. I, I, I can't just quite Google bleach woman. I it's certainly hope she's dead, anime. to be honest. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> but, but if you're going <laughs> to eat bleach every day and be like, this is how I, this is how I become powerful. I, I, you, I, either I've heard of you by now and you're some kind of anti-poison superhero or you're dead. And I haven't heard of them as like an anti-poison superhero, so I hope they're dead. But here's the thing. I watched Alex, Immortal HD, on couch Uh-oh. up, crunched down on a fucking Tide Pod. And the speed at which he, as a human, not his body going like, oh, uh-oh, but him, his human brain going, that was a big mistake, I have to call the police now, was halfway through biting into it. You could see in his eyes as everything raced in his brain, he was like, oh, wait, this tastes like death. I'm going to take a page out of one of my big heroes. Okay, uh, who- yep. A big advocate for yep. training Goku. You're gonna Truthfully, take a you, you're gonna take a page from Goku. I'll be honest. Normal brains can't train to the point of immortality, uh, because you'll realize you're killing yourself <laughs> very quickly. Bleach Lady probably had turned off that part of her brain that said, "I shouldn't be doing this. It tastes like bleach." And Tide Pod kids. Okay, well definitely let's managed. let's bring Goku back into this. For the record, when he was one, he hit his head so bad that he basically died. Uh, okay. That was step one. He slammed his brain so hard that he forgot everything and his entire purpose for being. Uh, he is literally, I would say, borderline mentally handicapped. And I don't say that as a joke. I'm saying that literally <laughs> as like that is what he likely is. I, uh, I mean, he he yeah. is. He hit his butt. He he probably still had a soft skull when this happened. His brain probably has saying. a gamer dent in it. 
I mean, like, here's the thing. When Goku recover, if Goku were to drink a bunch of bleach, he would Zenkai boost if he lived. Humans right. do not Zenkai boost. Their liver stops working. And their Zenkai boost is having a donor give them a new one. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. They always say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But I, if you get, like, like shot really bad... <laughs> the, I'm going to tell you one thing. I've just seen the like uh, physical therapy cycle to get back through that. And I don't think the person <laughs> comes back stronger. I actually think most of the rest of their life is talking about how bad it sucks that they got shot one time and a hole was put in their body, their incredibly fragile body. Again. What you've explained is PTSD. Yeah, You're right. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, so I don't think the concept of PTSD makes you stronger. I think it make, it like puts you closer <laughs> to a mental break. But what if you were the one, the one, you know, <laughs> one? The, the, the Goku among us, if instead of becoming mentally broken, you became mentally stronger. But I think a lot of this comes back to brain damage. <laughs> That's the only way you can be a yeah, Goku is to have horrible brain damage. Let's be very clear. In Dragon Ball Z, there are infinitely more universes where Goku became a vegetable and Earth was destroyed <laughs> rather than becoming the savior of they, they have established multiple universes and multiverse theory in Dragon Ball and I can't find one where Goku is alive in any of them they, because he the died. The only alternate was that he was black and I don't know what they're trying to say about that <laughs> what it means to become black and having <laughs> hit your head really hard. <laughs> Akira Toriyama, you're a genius. We love you, but I feel you needed to rewrite the script on what you called it. Maybe something like, you know. I, I hate it when you bring up Goku Black. You've done it twice, and both times it was the way. I don't like Goku. I think he's an ass. He's a he's a bad guy. He, he is he, not he, good. Vegeta's that's my guy. Honestly, you want to know what's the most problematic thing about Vegeta? His hairline. <laughs> uh, the fucking, the goddamn, the, the, the increased gravity dome. Oh, yeah. I think it's bullshit, and I think if it broke... Uh, that's like a large. That's like a. That's like some kind of large hadron collider that's horrible like a accident. Black hole event, that's like yeah. truly a black hole event. We're dealing with <laughs> yeah. like a like half the city's fucking gone. Oh my god! Do you remember that when I was in with the real large hadron collider? Because it's in like, yep. is it Switzerland nearby? When they were running the experiments, I remember people in school being like, "If the experiments go wrong, we're all gonna die in moments." Like that—that that was a real thing when they first Dude, started running the. Experiments. You gotta like, I—I I was never worried about that stuff because I learned early about gamma ray bursts, and that kind of set Hulk. me like, going through the existential spiral of, "Hey, did you know that sometimes a star a thousand million miles away can just <laughs> shoot a beam at you so hard that it, it immediately vaporizes everyone?" And then yep. I was like, "Oh, nothing matters anymore." And now I don't worry about the uh, Large Hadron Collider. But I do, I would worry about it if it was like, don't they like build it underneath? Isn't it like a huge yeah. fucking ring? It's gigantic. Do you think one so, of the idiots yeah. that like is living on top of it has to hear the the, the atom moving really, like, really quickly by? Like it goes like... <laughs> and you like fucking hear that happen? Is that like a sound you hear? But um, also as a physicist, I would put myself forward for the role of Gordon Freeman. Do you think you could pull off Gordon? Uh, I mean, yeah, like you just have to not talk, right? So yeah, I mean, but you, you struggle to do that. I like, yeah. Can he make sounds? You know, I'll you're gonna, out. you're. I, that's not meant to be mean, but I think that you'd make sounds. I have an interesting question. When's the last time you truly had a fight or flight response activate? I was in university doing training with the army, and a fake grenade went off next to me. Uh, and that made me a casualty. Damn. For the, for the day, yeah. That was a lot more metal than mine. <laughs> because I've spoken well, about this the, before, but it's all, it's it. truly, I'll never forget it. Uh, and this is going to sound really pathetic. Um, I was on my toilet taking a shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I'm not done. And that was it. it was, it actually calls back to the unexpected, like cutting your hand on something unexpected to the point that it actually shuts your brain down and you don't understand what, where pain is coming from. And people thought this was a joke. I truly got like a, like nasty, nasty paper cut on the toilet paper I was using to wipe my ass. <laughs> and it hurt my hand so bad and I started bleeding really bad. And I thought that like I had cut my hand 
I didn't realize like I like legit this somehow this toilet paper managed to slice me in such a way that it was almost some final destination <laughs> moment where like I had evaded death and he had decided that he was going to take me down with two ply. I immediately like stood up and started wobbling away my pants still around my legs trying to escape like what I thought was like I sliced my hand on the ceramics I, like because there was a first aid kit in the other side of the room I started truly running to the other side of the room because I thought I was fucking gonna bleed out on like it was like down my hand like the bloodstream oh I was like yeah. I fucking actually <laughs> I'm dying It's <laughs> and, and then when I came back I actually hit my toilet paper <laughs> No, <laughs> I I made it halfway across. Looked down at my ankles where my pants were still dangling around my legs, and then but instead of go, like my fight or flight activated, and I was like, I gotta fucking do something now. I turned around <laughs> yeah. and tried to fucking take a swing at my toilet paper roll, <laughs> and I slapped it into the. It was like it's suspended on this weird fucking thing. Like my yeah. toilet paper because my uh, my bathroom is old, so it's like suspended on this beam that's like weighted, and you can like move oh, the beam yeah. around. And I fucking yeah. knocked it over, and I was like, "You!" F I actually screamed at it. I, I still feel the phantom pain of the like, <laughs> cut. And at this point, I have to operate on the assumption that like I I glitched the the uh, you know the the <laughs> matrix or something yeah. because the amount of pain that paper cut caused me and the amount of blood it produced truly almost feels like I accidentally found an exploit in the code. I I have another moment that's very similar to your. I as a kid I had a pencil. I had a pencil and I sharpened it really sharp. All right. And I was like, oof, this, this bad boy is pretty sharp. And I put it down, and somehow <clears throat> the pencil stabbed me, and the lead went into my arm. I guess, like, my skin was like paper mache, because the lead perfectly went into my arm. And I was like, ugh. And I pulled it, and the, the it, it broke off, and okay. the really pointy pencil lead Ooh. started, like, floating down my vein. Bud? Um, oh, my God. It, it, it's lead. It's poisonous. So I bit my hand. <laughs> to crush the lead. Okay. And, and then I was like, it's gonna keep flowing. So All I had right. to like, I got a belt and like tied it around my hand to stop it All right. and had to try sucking it. Like when it went so into- So you went, you went down out. like five different survival options of like, yeah. I have to I have to crush this lead so it's in smaller poisonous pieces. No, I, and I then bit thought it because maybe I it was like a snake bite, and you could suck the poison, the <laughs> my, venom. My initial thing was like, I right guess out I'm going to chew through my skin like a dog. I'm going to have to. I'm surprised you didn't reach like to the point of like, I need to get a small Swiss Army knife and try to carve this wound out like a bullet. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. This game is incredibly relaxing, though. It's very therapeutic. There's something. There's something about all this cleaning that just. You know what I mean. I uh I despise cleaning. <laughs> I I, I, despise I truly it. I I think the best thing that will come out of this game is a bunch of fan, like parents will be furious if they find out that their like now adult son is enjoying playing this when uh, at least in my <laughs> in my experience if my parents asked me to like clean off the kitchen table I would personally spill more filth onto it so they'd never ask me to do it again unintentionally I would I would do that. I just uh, pretended so to make I think it, I think this is gonna make them really mad actually if they find out I'm enjoying playing this. Yeah. All those years. All those years you said you couldn't clean. I find you here. There was one game on like the summer Jeff Fest thing where summer it was, like, Jeff Fest. What are you talking about? You know the the new E3 with the Jeff Keeley oh, does. Oh, the Keeley games. Was, yeah, yeah. There was just like one game that was puzzles. It was like a daily puzzle where you just tidy up stuff. And I thought to myself, if I ever bought that game, I would have to force myself to live in an, an immaculate house. I can't justify my real world being like, you know, a mess and escaping to the Oasis to tidy up. Dude, that. I mean, here's the problem. <laughs> I right now can look up from my monitor, which is why I don't do it. I live with a VR headset on because if I take the headset yeah. off, I see the fill. And the worst part is, yes, I could clean it, but you know what I don't get paid to do? <laughs> Fucking clean things in real life. That's right. And that's Absolutely. what I tell my parents when they beg me to clean anything is I say, well, I, you know what I get paid to do? Clean stuff in the video game world. That I'm comped on. 
my family. Stop what? paying up. You guys gonna pay up? Cause I don't do it for free. If you're good at something, never do that for free. The Joker told me that. <laughs> <laughs> you know who told me that? They were expecting like Martin Luther King said that or something. <laughs> the Joker. That's what that's what the the clown prince said. <laughs> I um I was listening to a, a podcast and uh, there was I think it's Dennis Miller who would always make these references to things that nobody knew. And it was like his one favorite joke ever. <laughs> He's just like, you know, so that one, that one's like the time the Hindenburg went down in 1973. <laughs> it's like, what, huh? <laughs> 1973. It didn't happen in 1973. Didn't happen. But it didn't I happen mean, then. I feel like no one really, who cares about the Hindenburg at this point? Or do people still the, care? The families, what? maybe. But how long has it been? Not long enough for us to be. I mean, because at a certain absolved. point, do like the Titanic is kind of a thing now, where people are like, let's make movies about it. Like, I think there's a threshold where people like just don't relate to it as like the same thing anymore. They got <laughs> yeah. back onto cruise ships really fast, and I don't know why that didn't happen with Zeppelins. You know what? It's true. Uh, it it might just be the fact that the Hindenburg um, was, you know. I guess it didn't make enough money, and they didn't do a movie that, about yeah, it. Yeah, that's so. really that's the true tragedy. Yeah, they, they didn't is, get the movie. Is that the Hindenburg, as well as crashing horribly and killing many people, didn't make that much money? Yeah, it was a really e bad economic failure. So yeah, that guy he got cut. People always feel bad about all the horrible deaths involved, but they never think about how bad the you know investors much must, must have felt when they realized I mean, they weren't going to be getting a return <laughs> truthfully if i was like yeah this is the future of traveling you know like this is the future of air travel it's the hindenburg everyone's gonna love it and it went down i would never forgive um i'd i'd be angry the rest of my life and i just hope i could recoup some money with a movie or something and no one makes happen, no one makes movies about the hindenburg <laughs> Did they not? Not I one? Don't, I don't think I've seen a movie about the Hindenburg. I just don't think anyone... Surely they made one, yeah, but it would have been a silent movie. And no one cares <laughs> about those. True. I'm sure. I'm sure there's somewhere. There's some, like, psycho movie studio that has a script for, like, the 9-11 movie that they just could never release. I mean, like, they, there's 9-11 movies, but there's not even fucking... I've never even seen barely any documentaries about the Hindenburg. They got over the Hindenburg. They took one picture, <laughs> and I guess everyone was like, that's it. I guess we got, that's, it's a we got the picture. one pick of the Hindenburg going down. It's over. That one's good enough. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, <laughs> that Hindenburg picture really was. It's good. It kind of. I don't really need to see more than that. <laughs> that that sealed the coffin on Zeppelins forever. Yeah. Well, the thing is, imagine being the seven other Zeppelins in a. That didn't <laughs> they, go down. Do you think they just parked right <laughs> after and they were like, ah. <laughs> This is too- no one's flying the Zeppelins anymore, Steve. We're, we're, we're closing up shop. It's not good enough. I kind of want them to come back, Zeppelins. I think my legacy will be that of giant Zeppelin guy with pictures of my face. Bring back- I mean, that's Blimps. Blimps is- Oh, Blimps, yeah, Blimps is a couple people in a, in a small balloon Zeppelin. Zeppelin is too many people in one that blows up so hard that uh, it gets canceled one the one time it happens. Do you really think there'd be a lot of pushback against Zeppelins coming back? Do you think people like, would... Uh, but that's like if people were okay... I think Zeppelins was just one of those things where they got scared after the one. But as, if I was the Zeppelin guy and I did the Zeppelin... And then, a, like, a little while later, the Titanic, I don't know the exact timeline of these, but the Titanic has its problem, and it goes down, and it has its horrible tragedy, and then people a day later are like, but guys, we're not done with boats, though. <laughs> like, the problem was Zeppelin was, like, a new thing, and then Zeppelins were too slow to be efficient travel. It's not... No, no, no. It's the fact that it went down because it was a Zeppelin. Titanic didn't go down because it was a boat. It was, I mean, here's the thing. If the Titanic was a Zeppelin, it wouldn't have hit the fucking iceberg. That's true. It would have exploded in midair. Well, then no it wouldn't would have, have hit the fucking <laughs> iceberg, so I'm not sure how it would have exploded in midair if it hadn't hit something. The, tomato, why did the Hindenburg go down? It was, it was because it was full of explosive material by nature. It's not. And it was. Well, it, it's it not like. It, Dave, I mean, boats can go down because they get holes. Matter of fact, that's how the Titanic <laughs> went down. It got holes. Yeah, so that's built the, to every, have every, 
every vehicle has something wrong with it that's gonna cause it to have a horrible accident. That's how vehicles no. work. So Tom I'm not sure how it's explode. fair that the Zeppelin is getting so, like so much shit for having some explosive material in it. You know what else has explosive material? Uh, planes and cars. Yeah, but I feel like the way we store it is Tomato, there's a big difference between fuel that combusts and hydrogen gas that tries to explode. <laughs> it's, it's trying its darndest to stop being I itself. mean, here's the thing. We're kind of playing with gas here, literally, in that <laughs> cars function by making a lot of small bombs. So again, <laughs> I just feel like it's not fair that we're picking on the Zeppelin so hard when it did it wrong one time. Cars have a big problem <laughs> so much, and Zeppelin Zeppelin does it wrong one time, and I guess we just cancel it forever. That's not fair. He's right. That is true. I feel like cars have killed more people than Zeppelins. That's a fact. That's a fact. He was waiting <laughs> for them to slip The only guy you cashed out on time. the Hindenburg was that guy waiting to take the picture. Yeah. I actually, you know, it might be a conspiracy against Zeppelins. We don't know. They just, for some reason, the guy was at the perfect angle watching the Hindenburg take off. Just, you know, waiting for Wait it to explode. Yeah. And you know who who else was that? Are, are we it's... really going to get into... Because, like, there are conspiracy theories about, like, all the horrible tragedies. But I haven't heard any Every about the fucking one. Hindenburg. <laughs> are we going to yeah. be the degenerates that pull up a fucking conspiracy theory about <laughs> the Hindenburg? The one truly everyone got over... Fucking instantly moved on from to but like why new did they stuff. Move on? Why, why did they move on? Look, Tomato, I am a truth seeker. That's like my occup. I'm a truth seeker, and I just give people the facts. Yep. But I will say, Hillary Clinton, and <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to finish the rest. Just the fact that you said I don't mean to make this. <laughs> You were talking about conspiracies, and then you say, I'm a truth seeker, then bring up Hillary Clinton. You truly don't say no more. Uh, my brain has already traveled everywhere it needs to, Dave. Uh, it's just so chaotic that, like, the last couple times we've done streams, you've been like, oh my god, I'm so sorry about the VOD. <laughs> and like this time at multiple points, you're just like, it's already over, baby. So I'll just do whatever I want. It, it's awfully freeing. We will save that for uh, the real thing, you know? One the day. The full podcast, yeah. One day. TM. What? TM. It's one of those things we can always talk about happening, and it probably won't for a while. Probably won't for a while. We'd have to think of a name, dude, and that's the hardest part, because that's if we tried to do it on part. stream, you'd be like, Oh, uh, Freedom Fighters, and then it's over. It's over. <laughs> We can't do that. Uh, that's not the kind of podcast parents want their children listening to. Yeah, they're just not interested in that. I don't know why. Yeah, it's, like, it's like they don't What want... is this country coming to? <laughs> what is this place coming to, after all? If we're not going to fight for freedom, what for? <laughs> Money, matter of fact. That's actually that's a pretty good one. Like, for, honestly, I've never fought for... I'm going to be honest. I'm going to go on the record. I've never fought for freedom once in my goddamn life. No, you can't say that. I no, fight you, for you um, a crisp American dollars. This guy's right? a mercenary. He's not a freedom <laughs> I'm a <fighter>. mercenary. <laughs> that, I'm basically an internet... Like, I'm a con content creator. are basically mercenaries <laughs> for content. As opposed I'll do whatever it takes to get fighter. paid. I do this for freedom. I don't do this for the paycheck. The paycheck is just a nice bonus to me. I'm a freedom fighter. I go to sleep. I sleep well at night knowing that I help freedom. But name yeah, one thing you've done stuff. for freedom, my guy. That's it. <laughs> you know what? No. Three things. One's too easy. You can say you like... Three things? You can say anything for one thing. It's a fight for freedom. Recently, um... Yeah. I took a stand against something. <laughs> that <w> <Yeah. laughs> that's that's the most that's like truly the most politician fucking way. I took a stand against something, and that's why you should vote for me. <laughs> so someone out there was grateful to find out I stu I took a stand against something. Yeah. That is that is the most centrist fucking thing I've ever heard. It was heard something of. tyrannical too. It wasn't just anything. <laughs> He's a man of the people. Yep, I am a man of the people. I I held a vote. I I did a vote in chat. I you, did a poll. Okay. It was a good vote. Big turnout. Huge turnout on that vote. I'm not really sure what that has to do with like 
freedom. Were they not people, were they not free to vote up until that they, moment? Every even every <laughs> Oh, go Even on. Do go on. Don't let the <laughs> no, chuckles no, gonna, disturb. Like, don't let that I, slow I, I, your roll. I, I, I'm not gonna. I can't say that one. No, just <laughs> bud, bud. <laughs> just say it, bud. <laughs> Tomato. Okay, let's just put into context. I am the the year. It's the 19. Ooh, I want to say it's <laughs> okay. the 1912s. Okay. It's the uh, all right. It's the 1912s. Yeah, and in this election, in my. <laughs> Uh, even all of the women could vote. Every single one. They, And even the people uh, who, you know, let's call them our uh, colorful people, um, they voted too, and they didn't have to do those funny tests, um, which I learned recently. I watched, <laughs> this is a segue, but I watched an episode <laughs> of a show called Blackish. <laughs> you, bud, you cannot <laughs> <Yeah>. segue. <laughs> Okay, you, no, 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 but you, but you, you I, no. I was, I, I truly have to ask you what you just did and where you were going because that you was... can't say everything you just said and then be like, this is a segue, a segue from what? No, let me explain. From I what, watched an my episode brother of in Blackish. Christ, what, the, I watched... where are you going? I watched an episode of Blackish and I learned that in the American voting system, there was a time where they made black people do like IQ tests before they could vote and <laughs> because I'm a progressive and a freedom fighter you don't have to take the test to vote you could just vote like normal but then in the same episode I did find out that the American voting system is heavily rigged uh -huh. uh, and, I, and I'm not for that for my voting doesn't matter everybody gets one vote is worth one except the vote I did, did, that's not actually how it went down. Some people's votes were more than others. Yeah, but, because you know, doesn't Twitch have the channel point system, which allows yeah. votes to be heavily skewed in the favor of the rich? That's... <laughs> I, believe that, I believe that's built in. Uh, actually. I like to call that lobbying to me. <laughs> it's something real politicians do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh. look, America is the greatest country. <laughs> God, we're damn I was just, right. I was just copying the template they gave me. And sure, I gave women the vote. I was and just sure, I let black homework, people dude. vote. <laughs> I added in people who didn't have the vote in 1912. But you know what? I think I where did the right thing. But I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck 1912 comes from. Why are you That's talking the, about it like this? What's it's happening? The birth of, the birth of free, freedom. <laughs> The birth of freedom was 1912 specifically. <laughs> Took a long time for us to get it right here, but we finally did. What was Two going on in 1912? World. I don't even we were know. Planning to assassinate Archduke Ferdinand in a few years. Uh, that's, that's that's what was going down. 1912 <laughs> was when America attacked Canada and lost. <laughs> I, I wish I knew more about American history. I <laughs> I used to want to be a history teacher, and now I don't remember fucking any of it, dude. And then people can oh. say stuff that might not... E that was 1812. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was 1812. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what? Pobody's nerfect, and that's only one number yeah. off. Absolutely right. Yeah, we were close. That's I don't know why more people don't when they're uh, about to die just spew absolute nonsense. I guess they do and you just don't tell people about it, huh? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, like, uh, someone's dying and they say something crazy like, you gotta listen to me. <laughs> do you, we knew he was gonna do this. Don't, don't, don't worry. The gnomes. <laughs> They're real. The gnomes. <laughs> And Inside like, yeah, kitchen. you just go like, you just shrug and you say, I fu shut the fuck up, grandpa, you old shut bag. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, shut, shut it, all right? This is supposed to be a, a sad <laughs> moment. I want to hear about the goddamn gnomes. Someone cover his mouth. You know there's at least one, like, dementia-ridden outburst an old person has had that was actually true. And it was them, like, revealing their treasure and no one bought it. Like, I'd be such a sucker for, like, if an old person just wanted to fuck with me. Because if anyone tells me anything about treasure, I'm going to be like, uh, you got it. You found the holy 
temple. Of yeah, I've never it, seen Indiana you know, Jones. That's always so. the problem with treasure hunting, like movies and stuff, is they always imply that at the end of it, the treasure hunter is going to realize, like, it's not about the treasure, oh, it's about no. the adventure, and this belongs in a museum, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't. It, the money it makes me from selling it yeah. to some fucking rich asshole, uh, that money belongs in my goddamn bank account. That's I'm the only thing that belongs anyway. a treasure hunting anyway. movie where the treasure hunter comes home and it's like 2007. And then at the end of the movie, they just go, I think the housing market's going to collapse soon. I better buy some shorts. <laughs> and uh, that's the, the, the biggest... That's, that's the real treasure. If I got a treasure for, like... Like a treasure map for, like, oh, it's, it's the golden monkey idol. It's always a golden monkey idol. which So it's a good bet. Which Yeah, bet. but that's the thing. It's always a golden monkey idol, so no one wants them anymore. How many that's, times am I going to find gold yeah. doubloons in a treasure chest? No one cares anymore. It's over. So, like, I'd be bummed to find out that my treasure was something so mundane and normal because I'm probably not going to make a good return on it, and therefore it was a waste of my time. To find Dude, the rest honestly, of the I don't know how the fuck anyone does that much bullshit with their treasure hunts. Uh, if I got to any destination at a treasure hunt, and it was, and Marco Polo left a fucking note there that said, haha, I owe you one treasure, and then gives <laughs> the, address, yeah. the address to another treasure hunt? Holy shit. I feel like if you enjoyed the hunt, you'd enjoy that, though. You know, you enjoy the a action of hunting for treasure. So that's actually not that bad for a true, you know, treasure hunter who goes for the thrill of finding stuff. Hunting for treasure is actually quite expensive. Uh, and usually the cost of what you get for the treasure goes completely into the hunt that you just did for the treasure and you end up with like no money at the end of the day. Yeah, that's like kind of the real prank of a treasure hunt, isn't it? Is that you can't pay for the fucking, like the flights cost so much. Yeah, the flights, like I'm sure you have to get insurance because it's dangerous, kind of. Yeah, yep. you got you to gotta cover for so much crap. Yeah, medical, medical bills, uh, goon bills. Uh, lawsuits Ooh, against people you gotta, defeating goons. You gotta pay the goons. Yeah. That, that's only if you're a bad guy, treasure. Well, otherwise you're you have to wrestle guy. with the fact that you took multiple human lives to get this treasure. Yeah, this treasure that ultimately is basically for money. You killed them for greed, uh, essentially. Yeah, I don't know about that, bud. In Uncharted 2, the game, yep. where, like, the treasure is, like, but at some point, the goons start becoming like, you know, these, um, like, Hulk people. Uh-huh. Um, I always think with that, it's like, well, at that point, I say I'm out. I'm dealing yeah, with something that isn't just Yeah, if there's body the horror and, like, people are mutating as a result, I'm done. Honestly, if anything abnormal other than it just being treasure comes out of my treasure hunt, I'm out eating. If the bad guy of my treasure hunt is like, this will make me immortal, I'm like, I should call the army. This is yeah, it's like, like but I don't care if it makes you immortal. Where is there gold also next to the immortality the potion? For money. Like yeah. I don't, I truly don't know how to tell you that we are looking for different things now. So I don't even know why <laughs> yeah. we're still fighting. I, I, would you become a goon? Would I become a goon for treasure hunting? I feel hunting? like being a goon is not fulfilling. Well, I mean, I it's I in the fact that solo. if anyone, if my employer at any point in my entire life described me as a goon, I think <laughs> that would be enough to spiral me into a depressive state instantly. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because well, like, well, I, my 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 boss at work does call me a. Goon. What is it? Well, you cut out. What does what does he call you? He does say I'm a bit of a goon, like. Uh, yeah, but he, he doesn't describe henchmen. you as his goon. He says well, you're a he, bit of a goon, but he, that's well, like that's like in like the endearing like ha ah, you goon, but not like these are my goons, my employees I, that I don't really consider employees, but instead so kind of like. So he does this thing when he has to take off the makeup and everything and the bowler hat with a question mark on it. He uh, like throws them on me like I'm a coat hanger. Oh, thanks goon number one, and I say, I, and I have to say. Thanks, boss. I have to say it like that. Um, he makes you say it like that? Yeah. I work for uh, Jack White. Um, um, I don't understand why anyone, it, like, why there's any, like, goons in, like, villain shit. Because, like, honestly, I'm pretty sure I haven't watched a single episode of a Batman cartoon where one of the goons isn't shot by the villain and killed. That's, yeah, well, no, 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 no. Some of them get beat. No, like, good honestly, guys, if I was working fate. for the Joker, and, like, for, like, I don't care how much he's paying me, if the Joker fucking punched my friend, 
who's also a fellow goon in the face and be like, hey, asshole. And like, I'd punch him back. I'd instantly, that'd be the end of the Joker. He's not a super, he doesn't have superpowers. Yeah, most of the, he's most of the villains that have goons are in fact relatively normal. Bro, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That, you just killed Randy. Well, Tomato, the goons are unionized, so it's not that bad. Well, really. if they were unionized, they wouldn't get shot. Well, well, he has to pay the union when that happens, so Ooh. everyone gets a big, a big check when that happens. I mean, the I thought I, the... honestly, if the union wouldn't protect me from getting shot, but simply ensured that if someone got shot, I'd get comped on it. I wouldn't. That's not a very good union. It's I like don't hazard think. pay. Well, they they do their best with the medical fees and stuff when you do get shot. Like it's not a guarantee you'll die. Obviously, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, it makes you a better goon. That's why Batman truly does need to start killing them. Honestly. It would be better for them, really. It's the, the it's concussions aren't good. He keeps giving them, and the alternative the is I get powerful enough worse. to kill him. Because I mean, I did a lot of karate when I was uh, in high school. Oh and really? I'll tell you what. You fight someone enough times, you get really good at fighting that person specifically because you learn all their tricks. Oh, uh, that's why you know. That's why strong. the Joker, the Riddler. They're the one set, the one set, you keep, keep them on their toes, you know what I yeah. mean? Those are the characters I, as a human person, a real life person, empathize with the most. Uh, my role models that I wish to be more like. Yeah, I mean, I, I started relating to the Joker the moment he started giving me business advice. When you know the I mean? Joker said, I have a dream. And when when the Joker famously speech, said, I, had the dr I have a dream. Yeah. And when he said, we will not go quietly into the night, I yep. said... I think I, he's got my vote. You know, the Joker is a really important character in history. Right when he was wearing that big top hat, and he talked about like four scores ago or something. Yeah, when and he then... was fighting to abolish slavery too. The Joker really is. <laughs> That's something people don't know is that the Joker, <laughs> despite all of the crazy bad stuff he did, also abolished slavery. <laughs> yeah. So like, <laughs> I don't know, Batman. Maybe we give him a pass for a little while. <laughs> Like, Maybe we let him do he, some bad stuff, because he did he abolish likes slavery. He drawing funny, like, things. He likes graffitiing on Gotham. The guy abolished slavery. Can we give yeah, him a Batman, break? Yeah, Batman, back the fuck up for a second, dude. I don't know what it is with, like, fucking, like, really rich people and, like, coming after the fucking, the guys fighting for freedom out here, Batman. Did you actually know in, I think it was probably, like, the 60s or 70s, it must have been either Reagan or Nixon. They were going to add um, his face onto Mount Rushmore, and everyone in the cabinet <laughs> said, well, we should do the Joker as well. <laughs> we should. <laughs> that's, that's why no one else ever gets added to Mount Rushmore, is that... There's always a couple people in the cabinet that are like, well, if we're gonna do that one, we better get Joker in there, too. <laughs> we better do Joker. If we're gonna go call, like, the fucking, the, 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 the stonemason guy who makes this shit, we yeah. better make sure we get the Joker in. <laughs> the master builder that built Mount, Mount Rushmore refuses to add any more until the Joker is <laughs> that's also his, That's that. his fucking requirement. <laughs> the, the Joker, they won't add more because the fucking guy is like, I, dude, I love the Batman comics. <laughs> and I don't care what you say, I'm putting the Joker on if I'm going back out there. <laughs> Gang, I'm happy to add another president, but you gotta let me put Donald Duck up there, too. <laughs> Donald, I need Bugs Bunny. You gotta Donald let Duck. me put That's just, I need. just Wiley Coyote up there, or <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> or let me put Sora on that mountain. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> If we can't replace Teddy Roosevelt with Goofy, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I think in 20 years we need to, like, um, well, we, we talked about this in previous VODs, but every, every statue of people is of a racist uh, currently. So what we need to do yep. is we need to update Mount Rushmore. Um, and we got to pick our four. There's going to be a national vote. I mean, I thought we established that and it, was, it, would, it would be just four eggs. It would be four eggs, but for Mount Rushmore, we're gonna like update it. So for the next fifty years, ooh, we we're gonna keep have... swapping it out. We do votes. Yeah, yeah. So we well, we that get, means like, it's, it's gonna like be Among Us guy. Poll. Yeah. So we get one Among Us. So we get probably... something sus up there. A League of Legends character, probably. Uh, Arcane, someone from Arcane. Ah, oh, Timo. <laughs> Timo. <laughs> <Yeah>, Timo. <laughs> among Us. Um, we, get we need a real human, so I'm gonna put forward uh, Hillary Clinton. Um, <laughs> and All right. 
uh, an interesting choice after the things you said about Hillary Clinton for some well, reason. Well, it was either her or Borat for me, so <laughs> I think... <laughs> Why didn't you pick Borat? <laughs> Well, you know, he's a he's a goofster and gaffster, and I think Timo we have, we have too many goofsters up there. Yeah, and yeah, we have Timo already. Um, but Timo's also a veteran, so he covers Doesn't that. Doesn't Timo canonically do drugs? Um, he he's a mushroom guy, so it's very likely. Maybe we can't do Timo. What if we just had Mario? Like, Mario also <laughs> does drugs, technically. Okay, we we'll replace Timo with Mario then. I think we do Link. No, nah, Link, Link? Destro Link destroys a lot of stuff. He's a vandal. He breaks paths. He's a vagrant. Hmm. LeBron James, maybe? Ooh. We need it. We need someone who's like, you know, sports. But I feel like LeBron's bigger than Tom right now. <laughs> yeah, probably. LeBron is in. Brady's out. Probably. Ever since he left the Patriots. Can't stand that guy. Yeah. You know, he kisses his kids on the mouth, I was about too. to say that. I was thinking about <laughs> yeah. that. I was yeah. like, I don't really... Every time I see his big face, I think about when he kissed his kids on the mouth. <laughs> and I don't want to have to think about that. Like, I don't know. That would kind of ruin Mount, Mount Rushmore for me. Yeah, it's true. But maybe, you know, maybe like Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore? Eeyore's a good one. Maybe Eeyore. He deserves a moment. He does. But, you know, I feel like Eeyore, Eeyore surprisingly gets... Enough recognition, I think, sometimes. Do you, you know? think? I He doesn't do anything, dude. Wow. Okay. Uh, look, I'm not a hater. I'm not I hating mean, it's, on Eeyore. I mean, that sounded like fucking hating. I'm not hating on Eeyore. I'm just saying, like, he's relatable. He's great, but he, he's not very active, you know? Yeah, because of his crippling depression day. I don't think he has depression. I think he has, like, Emmy. <laughs> 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 there it fucking is, dude. <laughs> it all comes out. I think you should apologize to Eeyore. <laughs> to People were saying that we should add Goku, and I'm like, nah, that's a pick you only do out of fear. We've we've established that Goku probably shouldn't be like a role model to anyone. Goku should absolutely not be a role model. I have great respect for Goku uh, from a safe distance where he can't crush my skull. No one's yeah. gonna argue that. Piccolo's a bad guy. Aside from those couple of things he did. Uh, the one time where he was evil villain guy? Nah. Well, that one time he kind of decided for everyone that the moon was gone now. We didn't need it. What has the moon ever done for anybody? Tides? Tides, tides which are actually very needed. I mean, Tomato, Tides gave us Tide Pods. I don't know if I want to trust that guy. And anymore. Tide Pods gave, uh, according to you... Uh, in the future, some humans incredible resistance to us detergent? <laughs> so pick your fucking side already, Dave. For what? one fucking second in your life. When, pick when your the side and convention stick with it. fails you and people start using, you know, detergent as poison on the battle, you'll thank me. <laughs> detergent sucking people. My bleach spooners. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I just want to be on the right side of history. Yeah, I know, That's but all. you keep jumping to the right side every time it shifts. I guess, I mean, look, if we find out Bleach Lady is, well, if she didn't die of Bleach-related Yeah, Bleach the problem is you never checked if she's dead or not, because it's funny until you find out, yeah, she ate Bleach every day, and then she fucking died. You know what else it is? Not my problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not ready. Dave? It's not ready yet. Can you look at the goddamn ground? What's this? What did I fucking tell you about not stepping in the dirt? Is this, is this me? Yeah. Does this, this actually make other things? Uh oh. What did I fucking tell you? Now, let me explain. This wasn't this wasn't me. This was someone else. Uh huh. Yeah. So the other guy has been else. running up here. Have you scampering seen him too? around? I'm glad. I'm glad you've also seen him. He's really fast. I. You might not have seen him coming. Look there he goes. Ah uh, yeah, you just missed him. Yeah. But we're in a field. He's green. He's green. He blends in. There's a really green well. goblin in the field. I wouldn't bud, use the word goblin. Bud, it's bud, derogatory. Bud, bud. Yeah? Yeah. Down here? Of a tree? Is it a fucking gnome? Can we. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I got a longer range nozzle. Get lost! 
Can't reach it. All right, Dave. all right, guy. What is going? What's up, man? What? What have you been up to out here? Those kids are crazy. <laughs> Those kids are up to no good. Goddamn chills. <laughs> chills. Every time I see black. <laughs> Every time I see the flag, a tear falls from my eye. A cry. I can't help but respect this great country. <laughs> You, you made it up this way? But I'm just doing what I can. I'm realm. cleaning whatever I see at this point. There's no rhyme or reason. I don't I don't claim to know why I do the things I do. I just do. I'm kind of like the Joker. <laughs> we can't make him the role model. <laughs> like, the father figure of the stream. <laughs> I'm not saying I am the Joker. I'm just saying it's kind of like the Joker and his journey. I'm just saying, like, his journey, his, like... The things I aspire for are not dissimilar to maybe what the Joker would even do. Did you hear they're making the new one a musical? I did. I didn't believe it. It's ridiculous. I but truly, it is called Joker. I, I, I genuinely can't think of anything more insane and stupid and like just totally and Joker esque. Yeah, totally Joker like, right. and that's Joker -like. why I fucking love it so much, dude. Is that it's very the Joker. But you know, you Lady know that's Gaga. gonna be the tagline for the fucking movies poster. There's a little joker in all of us. Yeah. We're all a little crazy. Oh gosh. It's the, this is the perfect like time for the joker to be like the big like if, if the joker ran for office, he has a pretty good chance of winning. Well, he did run for office a few years ago, but that's I'm talking about the comic book guy. Um but <laughs> if, if joker from the Batman ran for office I think I think that he, he has a good chance of winning. He really does now. What about the Riddler? What about, someone, what about, Riddler, what about a guy that just yells "Riddle me this" a lot and then like? <laughs> I feel like people would be so. That's like Bernie Sanders. If Trump is the Joker, Bernie is the Riddler. <laughs> and I guess that makes Joe Biden Batman. But maybe not. Joe's more like Robin, and Obama was Batman. <laughs> This is the, the our political spectrum of Batman characters in real life. I just can't believe we're back here again. I mean, it's re it's real life, dude. That's what the stream's about. It's about real life people, real real life dilemmas. I mean, it's just like you love talking about American politics so much, but when's the last time you want to talk about Boris, my guy? What's up dude, with Boris? Boris is having a tough time. <laughs> Dude, you gotta take it easy on Boris. He's having a really hard time. <laughs> Dude, let's, um, let's at least let's at least give him a fucking sec. He's having a rough time. This week. Politics in England is so much less glamorous than American politics because at least in America, like there were people that liked Trump. Nobody likes any British prime minister. They all sort of universally hated. Like even even the good ones, they're like, oh, I'm glad they're gone. Yeah, like but the lady I like who... saw like a news article about what's going on over there, and like yeah. a bunch of the comments. Because whenever I see like like political stuff for stuff that isn't my country, I always look at the comments because I don't understand what the fuck is happening. And every yeah. single comment was like, you know, this prime minister, this wouldn't have happened. And then another person replies like, dude, fuck that guy, fuck I hate that guy's guts. <laughs> and it was like every yeah. single one going all the way back to like the 1700s. Someone would be like, dude. Fucking hate that guy, and they're like talking about like King George. And I'm yeah, like, well, like, I don't understand. I cannot keep track of what's going on. People who post on those like comment sections are like politics students in uni, who are just about the only people who would care to like to think of a prime minister that they like. Generally, when I think of a prime minister, I think someone who's richer than me and making me poorer by taking taxes. And I think, yeah, we have a queen who does that too, so we don't. We definitely don't need a second person doing this. Dude, did you cringe hard when Sam got that question wrong in that fucking quiz game about the no, fucking I, like the royal I didn't family? See. What was the question? They asked. They asked just like any question about the royal family, and I just assumed you guys knew all of it. Like, so when someone answers a question wrong about the royal family, I cringe hard because I was like, "Damn, oh, dude." Oh gosh. That's like me getting like. Uh, that's like me not knowing who the 16th president of the United States was. Uh, spoiler: It's Abraham Lincoln. Because I'm a fucking patriot, I know that. <laughs> but you guys don't Whenever, even know what's going on with your royal family. Like, actually, when fucking cringe. There's a reason that they're a patriot. I have to salute. I every time I am compelled to salute when I hear it's because I'm a patriot. It's because I'm a patriot. Short ranged.
Yeah, keep Lucky I'm wearing this. Yeah, nothing. Oh, wow. Suit. You seriously got rid of the freedom sign? Well, I had to get rid of freedom because. Wow, freedom you isn't cut free. the American flag in half. That's what I'd like to do IRL one day. <laughs> <laughs> On sacred ground so they can't arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> David! No more know, borders, no Sat more flags! I know Saturn's plump right now, but you gotta take it easy. <laughs> I don't know what's been up with you today. It's a full moon, I know. I mean, eventually, yeah. Eventually, like my lecturer, who's like... I think he did say it. I think your teacher might have stolen that line. I mean, if you're gonna steal a line, steal from the best, am I right? Yep, that's actually a line that Joker said. That's something, yeah, that's another one of his. That, that was one of his. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Joker said most things. <laughs> he was very well read, very verbose. He said a lot of things. Um, I remember when he was, you know, he, remember when he wrote all those plays under that alias? What was it? Um, ah. Shakespeare, yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah when he yeah. wrote all those, and then he tricked everyone with his Joker trick to think they were written, like, yep. you know, hundreds of years ago and stuff. People bought like it. He, they, they hook, line, and sinker. That's another one of his sayings that he'd say was hook, line, but and But is there anything you've seen from Shakespeare that you've been like, fuck yeah, dude, that slapped hard? Not a single thing. Not a sing Maybe... I think he sucks eggs, dude. I think he's actually the fucking worst. I, I'd rather tear my fucking hair out than spend okay, one more, than one second hanging out with Shakespeare. But what's your favorite Shakespeare play? None, bud. No, there has to be one. Okay, favorite of garbage? Like, favorite trash pile? Yes, yeah. Uh, I can't even think of the name of one. Uh, they, they, he did Romeo and Juliet, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one sucked. Um, absolute fucking dumber than dirt characters. Uh, m probably Macbeth. Mac oh, the Scottish play. Yeah. That's a good one. And I only liked Macbeth because of the Jimmy Neutron episode. That's it. Really? Oh yeah, don't care two shits about any of Shakespeare's stuff. Dude, have, if I go back in time, rather than do something good, I'd punch- I consider doing a good thing would be punching Shakespeare in the fucking nose. Giving him- That's not true. Clock That's at one, true. you know what I mean? Nah, you're- you're a man of culture, Tomato. You gotta- you gotta love Shakespeare. You gotta- I don't think that has anything to do with being a man of culture. I- unironically, okay. really do like Shakespeare. Okay. I think it's, it's funny. So, you saying unironically was supposed to be ironic, right? Look, what? Larry the Cable Guy is one thing. <laughs> oh my god, I was looking at I was trying to find where the last of the filth was, and now it's I see the problem. Here. Take it's off the here. long one! I think that's the last thing we have to do. While you're it doing is. that, I'll make sure that there's no, like, lingering filth. There's some hard poop on here. There's some real stinky <laughs> poopoo up here. <laughs> there's some stinky doo-doo up on this fucking roof. I don't know how yeah. they got up here. That's definitely the last of it. Dude, I, uh, I went to see my mom, like, a few days ago, and I don't know how, but she said poo-poo in conversation, and I laughed, and you she looked really so disappointed. You laughed so hard, huh? She was really disappointed. <laughs> like, but genuinely, like, It's so funny, though. That kind of humor is just so fucking funny. It was funny. just like, well, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, like, It's not my fault. Especially when a grown-up is seriously saying the words poo-poo, and then, I mean... Yeah, you're walking right into it. It's like, fart jokes are still me. funny, my guy. It's true. They're still, they really still bust my gut more than anything else. I'm struggling not to, you know, hear when I hear a, a chair squeak in the office that sounds like a fart. My head pops up like a meerkat. I turn around, like, ready to laugh, and uh, everyone has just noticed me basically look like the Joker, my hero. <laughs> um, for a split second. <laughs> the, the, there's, I think there's a new kind of genre of joke forming out of our intros, which is the throwback to Joker suddenly out of nowhere and just consider <laughs> it like call him our hero and then move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Look Speak at that, look clean. at that fucking... Oh, that, uh, that's actually so nice getting to watch like the time lapse. You can see when I really struggled with Stego Slide. And they're, they're, they're cool snails. They're cool. But I just got a text in the game that says this house is haunted. Really? Yeah. Who's the who's the ghost? I don't that know. Matters. They just said they heard a weird sigh sound when they sat down on the sofa inside. But for real, what if the house was haunted by Garfield? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Garfield should be dead. Garfield is, is the kind of cat dead? that would absolutely, I think, find joy in scaring others and hurting them. You think? I don't think he's that mean. Garfield's not mean. Garfield attacked Odie every chance he got. 
That's because Odie was like was you know, stupid. His, that was it. That was his crime. Was being dumb. <laughs> no. no, it's not. That was Odie his crime. He wasn't dumb. Oh, his, was so his crime was being a dog and being dumb. Odie was annoying. I'll say it. I'll that say no, it. Normal was, was annoying. annoying. Normal should have oh, been dead. Oh, Normal was annoying, yeah. Even I hated Normal. I wished nothing but pain for Normal. I don't know. I always felt like I was Garfield. I always I identify with you, Garfield. You don't want to be like, dude, I'm just like Garfield, because that's like being like, dude, I'm just like Squidward. And then you have to look at yourself and be like, oh, God. No, 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 no. I'm just ultimately, like I'm Ultimately... I'm just like the Joker, but really, <laughs> I am much more like Garfield. <laughs> you know, as a streamer, I'm kind of just like Two Face when you really think about it. You know, like that's kind of who I identify with. One moment, yeah. I'm one thing, turn off the cameras, and I'm a totally different person, baby. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Think like, oh yeah, how does that go I flip for a you? Coin, I flip a coin, I say streamer would ruin my life right about now by doing anything remotely close to what I would do on stream. Mm -hmm. Time to rein it in. It, it, honestly, it's less like Two-Face and more like the Hulk. Whereas <laughs> when it takes over. <laughs> when my heart beats too fast, I just, the streamer <laughs> yeah. activates. I do I have my bridge moment. I, I wake up. <laughs> my bridge moment. <laughs> Uh, I come to and they say, uh, what did you say? <laughs> Whoa, what? Bro, say it's psych now. <laughs> I love a, I love a good bridge moment. I, I love a good, you know, it reminds us that we're human. <laughs> Anybody can be wrong. Anybody can have an insane outburst. A horrible outburst. A mental outburst. break. That, that was truly a darkest dungeon mental break. <laughs> yeah. P PUBG of all games. PUBG like, of I all games, Darkest Dungeon Mental Break, it just says racist above your head <laughs> for a split second. <laughs> <laughs> a scary, a scary yeah, musical it, tune it's... activates. Oh my, That's oh Edge is done. Look at this bad boy. It's coming together, Dave. It really is. David? It, like, it's a very simple concept, but the game is fun. Yeah, it's a good game. It's like, honestly... Goofs aside, but I will say it's shit because they didn't pay me to say it's good. Yeah, it'd be better if uh, it'd be better know. if I was getting like a check in the mail. You know what I mean? Yeah. I uh, can't put the fucking ladder down, bug. Oh, uh, uh, devs. Tragic game, really. Tragic um, story of how um, they chose to release yeah, this game. Yeah, I can't put the fucking early. ladder down. It's actually bug, Dave. I'm not actually fucking around right now. I can see the blue things everywhere when you go up the ladder. Or are you putting it down? I can't put it down! Oh, the second we started to say something good about it, dude, the game fucking breaks down around the seams. I know. Are you holding the ladder now? Yes, I'm holding the ladder. I can't put it down. Oh I press God, F, it automatically beating? picks it back up. Riddle me this, Dave! How much money are the devs gonna have to send me for me to not fucking refund this trash? You have 24 hours, otherwise my finger hovering over the tweet button might just slip, Dev. <laughs> I don't know if I can do- Oh, I'm getting weak from hunger. Oh. I guess you could say we're, uh, up shit creek without a paddle. I didn't ask. Oh. I don't want to know about shit creek right now. Really. Where is shit creek? Or it's shit's creek? That's an, isn't that the name of a show? I thought it was a real place. God, Dave, you Wait gotta, like, minute. come but You gotta, like, fucking no, come no, back no, no, to no, Earth, no, no, man. No, no. Watch it too much TV, man. Shit's Creek. It's a show. It's a show, but is it also... While Shit's Creek takes place in a fictional location... Oh... Individuals can visit a site similar to it. Yeah, it's People called Anywhere in Massachusetts town. or Connecticut. <laughs> You're welcome. I fa it's called the town I grew up in. Similar town in America. That's literally what? why I couldn't watch it because I had to watch my town the show People really? be like is, is this fucking like? funny and I'd be looking around like like the mr. Krabs with like the like like when he's blurred <laughs> yeah. out I'm looking around for I an escape that. exit because people are just showing me a show about my house like my town If I saw a show about the town I grew up in I would likely explode. It's a great place What's, great what, place. what's wrong with your town? I mean, it's my town, you know? Like, that's it. It's one of those things. Because mine was like, mine's got a lot of racists in it. Oh. And a lot of old people, which is why there's a lot of racists in it. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's like a place where old people go to die, basically. Oh. <laughs> is where I live. I, I enjoyed living near old people. They were generally okay. 
Basically, what old uh, people did in my town was uh, wait for uh, town council votes to like give the school money. Yeah. And then they'd vote to not give the school money because oh. um, they were all they old. They didn't want the like, school. Like truly, as a child, but, and this was something I got into pretty early, was I, I had never thought I would ever wish for old people to die faster. But living in a town <laughs> that was in constant, like basically we couldn't survive in my school. Like my school was truly a shithole because the old people would never allow it to get money. So I, yeah. I my whole life I was like, I really hope these these olds speed this process <laughs> up because truly, in at least my case, they are making my future life worse and making me miserable right now. In the town I grew up in, we had the opposite, where our primary export was teenage pregnancy for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> the duality of man. But then, did your did your town not have like a country club or something for the old people, like a bingo parlor, like decked out with gold? They basically and had like fenced in old people communities. It was wild. It was a different time. Really was. Thank God they're gone. No, yeah, most of them are dead now. And the new old people moved in. And now it's old people like me that also don't want to pay for schools. Because now I'm old. <laughs> the cycle is vicious. No one paid for my schools, I'll tell you. No one paid for my schools, I'll tell you what. Those kids need schools, they can pay for them themselves. <laughs> get a paper round or something, Jimmy. <laughs> I gotta get to the park. <laughs> I was so envious of paper round kids. They seem to be swimming in money. And now, obviously, as an adult who makes money, it's uh, it's hilarious. They should not be. They should just spend your time doing something else. Dude, enjoy your childhood while you have it, because God knows it's gone so fast. It's not coming back. It's never coming back. And then all you can do is pretend you still have your childhood and can still do things like a child, but you can't. And that makes you a freak. I. <laughs> 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 That wasn't the direction I was going, but well. <laughs> I mean, we could definitely go the way of pretending to be a child does make you a little bit of a freak. I was going to go more with like that. You can't do the stuff you used to do as a child. I can't just run around and play sports and stuff anymore. My body will die, but you made it about uh, <laughs> that makes them a freak instead. There's a, re there's a reason that, you know, childhood ends at a certain age. And once you're a big, fully grown-ass person doing that stuff, it just doesn't quite hit the same, you know? <laughs> yeah, true, man, true. You cut out, did you the, say Tamagotchi? Yeah, my Tamagotchi. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know if I can truly go back to the way it used to be. I hated those fucking things. Oh my god. Yep. They were... Oh my god. I hated them. I would let one starve right in front of me, I wouldn't feed it. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. You can't let them starve. I would. But I I, to me, one. it was like, it's like having a child of my own. <laughs> Isn't that what, like, a sack of flour was for? We never did that in school, although I always saw it on TV. Well, they'd because... do it in my school, but it was always, there was always, you'd, it was mainly to weed out the sick freak that would come in with cookies. Did that happen? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. And then the health teacher would be like, so you funny. cooked your child into food? And then I'd sweep by and pick up a cookie and crunch into it and be like, what? And then I'd still eat the cookie because it was good. Yeah, you'd be like, your kid tastes great. And then it cuts to the intro of whatever, like, <laughs> Disney Channel show this is. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought I have younger siblings. So I was like, dude, if we ever did the flower experiment thing, I'm a shoe in to, like, ace that class because I know how to change diapers. I know how to, like, deal with kids. I know they, how to cook. It was never about changing diapers with that flower sack thing. You just had to carry it, it around. Like, and somehow, just, well, because that was hard enough as it was for children, apparently, because sometimes ours would come back with knife wounds. <laughs> and I'd be I like, bro, people, clearly you yeah. didn't mean to stab it, but it got stabbed. This thing <laughs> got, this baby is dead as hell, bro. The eighth graders would run around and try to stab your kid with pencils. The oh sixth God. grade thing, the flower babies. Uh, they'd run around with pencils and try to kill them. It was actually like you'd check the halls because you'd wonder if there was a roving pack of uh, stabbers <laughs> in the uh, in the in the hallways. It's like, a, yeah. So you have this baby, but you live in uh, 
Neo-Soviet Prussia, <laughs> and uh, th there's a food shortage, so good luck. <laughs> the eighth graders come running through. Have you got the baby for us? <laughs> <laughs> it pretty much was what it was like. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> you're either fast enough to outrun them, or your baby was gone. Dude, I just but really. I just remember, you know that, you know that famous line, "Live, laugh, love." That was the Joker's. <laughs> we... <laughs> the famous line, yeah. That was the one that, that grandmothers the used to put in their bathroom <laughs> guests when they come by. Yeah, that's actually a Joker. That's line. a Joker quote. He yeah. says that right before he gets shot by Robin in that one animated movie. Yeah, and I think um, it was between that, like he, I think he just finished punching Hitler. And then Robin came in for the assassination. He it was honestly, uh, Joker could be assassinated for many things, but if he was just, it's just a bad look, Batman. If Robin shoots him right after he beats the crap out of Hitler, that's just like, yeah. like it's like you gotta wait a minute. You gotta I mean, let it, Hitler get out of shot because Joker was just beating him up. Yeah, well, I mean, Robin had a rough day at like the box factory or wherever he works, so. Yeah. I mean, I, God knows what he wasn't doing was beating up Hitler, though. Yeah, he wasn't even involved. <laughs> he didn't even try to help. You think he would have got a couple punches in on Hitler before he shot Joker? In cold blood, I might add. In cold blood, yeah. But thank goodness, you know, Joker had... He signed the Treaty of Versailles, gave Hitler the big punch. And I'm just glad he got in the live, laugh, love, followed by the I'll be back uh, <laughs> after Robin shot him. It's wild though, because he did never come back, and they buried him. <laughs> he didn't come back. I think Robin was really banking on him coming back, because that was the only thing keeping him out of prison. But he did not come back. Yeah, God. no. It was they. They kept the casket lowering. I'm doing it because they were sure he'd come back. You are Said confident it was a joke. Guess for a guy called the Joker, he was pretty serious. Yeah, he donated to a lot of charities. I heard. Yeah. He loves motorcycles. And an icon. A true icon. We should build a statue for Joker. We should put him on the Mount Rushmore. <laughs> if we could get the Joker on Mount Rushmore, um, would, would you do, like, you know, just a meet-up for the old disciples, the, the 12 of us that used to be there with him? <laughs> the, the 12 disciples of the Joker? <laughs> yeah. Bud, you got it. You know I'm in for that. Yeah, we get the, the crew back together. You know, I'm not sure anyone lives here, so I don't know how we're really. Nah, I've been getting lore drops of about it. People live here, man. A ton of people live here. It's like a whole family. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's something you wouldn't know because I need to know basis and you don't even know. Oh, okay. Can I know, like, no. the address? Like, nope. where are. Okay. Again, need to know. It's disrespectful that you assume you need to know. Because I tell you if you need to know. I, I mean, yeah, I believe you. I mean, it feels like you don't, or else you wouldn't ask. No, it's not that I, like, you know. I don't know. I just think curiosity killed the cat. That's... Yeah, and that's why you should watch it. Uh, that sounded like a death threat. I want to be clear that it was. <laughs> I know it only sounded like one, but it really was one. It so was literally a death threat. I'm threatening to kill you. That Thanks for clearing that up. That really helps. Yep. See, I learned that from the Joker. He would do that. <laughs> that's so... God, that's, that's how exactly. I can tell you're a disciple. <laughs> Gosh, wouldn't it be cool if we had our own disciples? <laughs> <laughs> that is just like such a crazy fucking thing. Wouldn't it be fucking epic if we had disciples that followed us and followed our word? It just kind of did what we said, like, for no reason, really. Isn't that not- that's not disciples then, that's- that's just a cult. Okay. Oh, come on, it's gotta tick down and just give us the, like, three... The few areas left. I mean, I'm looking at the few areas left right now. One of them's this wall. One of them's this part. Shimmerade! Oh okay. Come in, welcome. We were just finishing the big shoe. I think they're gonna want a raid song, Dave. How do you feel about singing? A raid song? They want a raid song? Yeah, I'll grab my trombone. You see, the problem Drop with this thing is that trombone. it's actually full of, uh, spiders now. <laughs> the trombone? This thing is absolutely 100% full of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a spider crawl out of the mouthpiece hole yesterday. Just now? Oh, Not yesterday. yesterday. Yesterday, so I think it's abandoned now, but, uh, Oh, we, we still have to do the- a raid <laughs> song. Oh my god. 
But I, this means you're doing the singing. All right, yeah. Uh, what, what key are we in? Give me, give me, give me the key. I don't fucking have. Hang on. What? Hang on. I can't do that with this. I have the harmonica. No, I've got. We'll, pitch. we'll do it in I'll whatever tune is. Whatever key is this? All right. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I got that. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, re this I'm reading one. out a clear day. I'm gonna set the scene and you just play in that space, man. All right. All right. Yeah. Is the, are you playing right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, let me get I in there. I bought this trombone for Ooh, a yeah. bit. I don't actually know how to fucking play it. I'm just gonna vocalize for a little bit and you'll like you'll hop in and I'll jump in. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Rage. German, German, Hang on, this Ooh. one's not. This one's not working. I'm gonna. Okay, could you give me like a raid type beat? Hey, give me a fun. I do actually still have the accordion. <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I do actually have a real accordion here from uh, from Goblin Bit. Okay. So I do. Okay. I do have that. <laughs> we could. <laughs> we could. Okay. Wait. Can can they hear the game? I don't fucking- My god, no. this thing weighs fucking 80 pounds! I don't know if they can hear fucking anything! <laughs> and we, I, we could do a beat with the power washers, like, you know, the, and then we start vocalizing, so we're like, uh, and then we'll harmonize. Come on, tomato. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> like, in sync! Ooh, what? You, you, you raided the channel! <laughs> And we're saying thanks, so I'm passing it to Tomato. He's like Tom Hanks. Tomato! Dude, I just spent fucking like five minutes thinking about how I actually spent $800 on this fucking thing and I actually couldn't figure out how to make it work this whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna put this away. <laughs> I, I started, you started doing that, I started looking at the harmonica and it made me so fucking actually sad. And then I looked over at the hurdy-gurdy and I did see the giant fucking crack in it that I had just like appeared like, a, like two months ago and that thing cost $1,200. Oh my god. Most of these instruments are from an old D&D bit chat and I haven't used fucking any of them and most of them are full of spiders or have like wounds now. This used to be a $1,200 hurdy-gurdy that I bought. I got it imported by a like 95 year old fucking ancient old man in like Norway. This is what it hurdy. sounds like. Let me let me take it down from it's like it, there's like a security thing you use to keep the strings from touching it. So I'm gonna take it down from all those and listen to this, listen to this beautiful sound. Uh, apparently, I found this out after I bought it. Hurdy gurdies require almost constant supervision, like a baby, or they just deteriorate <laughs> and die. Oh, let me get into position here. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah! I could probably play like Marriott a little lamb on this thing though. Good year. If there wasn't the giant crack that I just watched get bigger! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> this, that's rough. I gotta put this thing down. I'm gonna put this thing away. It costs. I was gonna keep it as like a thing I could hang up on a wall, and whenever I touch it, the crack, it, it's gonna like disintegrate. <laughs> Uh, hurdy-gurdy experts are like fucking assholes, and they lie about how you do it right, and no one actually knows the right way to tune a hurdy-gurdy properly, uh, without, like, their secrets. They all keep their secrets. They're like wizards. That checks out. They keep all their secrets, their little tuning secrets, and then when you do it wrong, they go, Ha ha, I see you've wiped all the rosin off of the funny wheel! <laughs> how much money did that fucking thing cost you, you dick? And then I have to fucking add the rosin again, and then when I do that, they say, ha, huh, I see you've added too much. Another big fucking mistake. Oh, a great shame to be you <laughs> right now. <laughs> do you see which window it is? Huh? If you see the window, what's up? <laughs> uh, I've seen it. I, I thought I would give you a fucking chance. Really? Yeah, I mean. This one or what? what what's the deal right here? Now I am, uh, I don't see color, so 
Oh, you know, here we go again, dude. Here we fucking go again. It's in the title. I mean, you you brought it up. I thought we were going to be accessible here, but... <laughs> it's right there in the tags, if you look below. I mean... Uh, you see, the problem is that was only meant to be a tag for Mild Dutons. Are you a Mild Duton? Nah, I'm Tripton. I don't Tripton. care, dude. It's as simple as that, man. Also, the uh, frame you were looking for was right here, you fool. How did you see that? But what? I, oh my God, my brother in Christ. You're I pretending you to be <laughs> colorblind. I need you to understand, okay? <laughs> I've played, I've played this game. I know what's up. You got destroyed. Right, wow, look at that. All right. I mean, it wasn't a competition. I just kind of made it one. At the There's going to be a lot of this time lapse running around not doing anything. I just I'm still thinking about Charlie. I hope their poop went alright. Charlie, if if you really, you know, got a poop, please just don't like get Apparent, cut uh, update with ribbons update on paper. Up, shut yeah. the fuck up shut up a sec. <laughs> Charlie gave us an update. He done it. He said I done it. He did do the poop. He did the poop. Ladies and gentlemen. That's my guy right there. That's we can guy. all die happy knowing that Charlie did in fact survive. Do we want to? We want to do one more for the road, or do we want to wrap it up? How long would this take? Let's see. I. What's that? Let's Did you just like up. uncover or something? Hieroglyphics. <laughs> just so covered hieroglyphics. <laughs> what is this? Take a look. Take a closer look. What? David, I know what I know what this picture is gonna make you do. It's gonna make you do what you always do and get. Violently political. I need you. <laughs> oh need my you to... god, is that what I think it is? Oh my god. <laughs> we can't we can't do this. Tomato, again. look, it's the man. He's telling us to shush because we know too much about the system being corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Why I... would they show this? That's not a bank, Tomato. That's a that's a courthouse. <laughs> you, what, you... what is this trying to tell us? Oh my god. Oh my god! It's, oh my gosh. And you know what? He's blue. So what what side does that is that rib is that the um the guys? We're gonna do the bungalow. <laughs> We're gonna do the bungalow, okay? We're gonna One last ride, Dave! <laughs> I hear ya. Dave, the problem is, you see, I gotta cash out, because, um, I didn't get- I'm not getting paid by the devs at all. I'm not- I'm That's not, right, I'm not yeah. giving me anything. Well, you know, some children have to be neglected. Uh, that's just the way the system works. <laughs> For why me? We <laughs> if we fed everybody, that wouldn't be enough for some fat people to stay fat. It just wouldn't happen. Dave, I have to go get my sushi and put it in the fridge, and I'm begging you. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Alright. I'm gonna walk off. Okay, you're gonna- you're walking away now? I'm gonna be gone for like three minutes. I'm not gonna mute, guy. because this is hey. like- this is like a trust exercise. Okay. Right? I'll okay. be right back. Okay. Let me take a look. Yep. How long do I have? Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back, chat. I'm going to go use the... Yeah, I'm going to just, like, go for a sec and go do stuff that's important. Uh...
how to pee. Okay, sorry. Okay, hey, is tomato back? Sweet, uh, yeah. What'd you do? Me? Yeah, what'd you do? Uh, I went to the bathroom very quick. Did you do like fucking 30 seconds of pissing into the mic again? <laughs> the mic's not long enough to take him to the bathroom anymore, it's, so I, I couldn't do that. Nah, what'd you do? <laughs> People are saying tennis, what are they talking about? Oh yeah, I was saying because Rafael uh, no Novak Djokovic just won Wimbledon again, so uh, yeah, I, I think I was talking about that. I don't fucking, let me be clear, I don't trust you as far as I can fucking tell you, my guy. <laughs> what do you what did you, <laughs> I didn't do what anything. did you do, dude? <laughs> Riddle me this, Dave! How many times am I gonna have to walk off during one of these fucking things where I just stop leaving the mic open? What did you do? I, I literally, I just got up for a moment, I went to my bathroom, through the hallway. Okay. And So and at what point did, in that did you have time to discuss tennis to the extent that chat's talking about? In the bathroom. You brought your mic into the bathroom. It was outside the door, so you couldn't hear any. You like, you sounds. you open mic the toilet. <laughs> you hot mic it. <laughs> no, I pushed to talk to in the toilet. This is very different. You get a ring when you win, and there's no bowl. But stop! I just gotta stop you right there because we're getting into actual sports talk jokes, and I don't care about it. Damn. We're vetoing sports. We're do we're gonna veto the sports jokes. Well, we so. already talked about how Tom Brady kisses his children's <laughs> lips, so. We we did go in depth about how uncomfortable it makes us as a as a people that I I have to think about that's well that's why he's not gonna get a fucking statue on Mount Rushmore all right oh yeah that's right yeah, that's he's, he he's not getting a statue because everyone would have to think about him kissing his kids on the mouth that's true which he which he document he that's documented he does you we're know, not we're not like making he, stuff like, up that's just visual Bradley, that's there. Yeah. That's just how he chooses to live his life. That's not my problem. Well, that's wrong. He's choosing to live his life wrong. Yeah, well, when you have to French your dad before you go to school, it's a little <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, every day you get stopped at the door, you're expected to, you know, say goodbye to your family. See ya, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty fucking family, though. This is getting too political. We're spiraling back. Dave, back. We've been, we, we, back. we veered away from the tree line for long enough. Dave stumbles forward, back proud. into the cockpit. I double check the lock. I was positive. I fucking sealed him in. <laughs> he stumbles right to the fucking steering wheel and he starts veering it back towards the trees. I'm the kind of person who drives the plane pretending I was driving like a race car. <laughs> <laughs> Going like. Like left and right. <laughs> I, you see, that's the, that was the fucked up thing is that like uh, I played that window, the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh yeah. Or really any flight simulator ever, and I turn it on. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna fly just like a fucking race car. And I turn at all, and Microsoft is like fucking wrong. Now I know this. My dad's a real pilot, and he hates watching me uh, do anything close to a flight simulator because it's so far from reality. God, that must be, that must be wacky though, having a flight. Having a pilot papa. It's a. Uh, well, I got to have a bunch of cool, like, knickknacks. Did he ever quietly let you go. fly the plane? Yeah. During, like, commercial hours? You ever just get to, like, stumble on there? Oh, like a real one? Yeah, yeah. You ever just, like, sneak you in in a carry on, my guy? I, uh. Sneak you in? <laughs> well, because, you know, I come from a family of contortionists, I can actually fit into the overhead luggage now as well. So it's not too bad. But no, living in a pre 9 11 world for. Is with cool, Dude, really it's just, just like here's the thing. If I was on a plane and yeah. um, I, I got, like the radio turned on. Hey guys, so uh, I'm I brought my my child, uh, David, <laughs> to work today. My kid's gonna um, be he really wants to uh, fly the plane, so I figured, uh, you know, let's have some fun out here. And then the fucking plane started veering up and down wildly, like a bucking, <laughs> like a like a bull, like bucking around. Yeah, uh, and then like you a... hear, like, the radio comes back on by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> I have, here's the thing, I have on a flight before, like, while landing, had the pilot be like, and welcome everyone to, uh, he was, like, doing it as we were touching down, he's like, welcome everyone to 
Chicago. Oh, oh! He like <laughs> made, he like, like jostled wrong. He like landed too hard, and you could hear him going, like, "Oh!" And then he's just like caught himself. He's like, "That was a little bit faster than I think any of us were expecting to land." <laughs> and I was oh like, "Get God. me off! Get me off!" That's so scary. Get me off! <laughs> yeah, I haven't I haven't flown in a while, but uh, I've had my fair share of horrible horrible nightmares. Like the time a pilot told us all to, and I quote, on the mic, buckle up, because it's going to get wild. <laughs> Which <That's> was awesome. <laughs> wild, because it did get wild. We we were landing in Boston, uh, and he turned the plane sideways and dove us so hard <laughs> that the bottles in the plane exploded. We had bottles on what? all of our seats explode from the pressure of descending so fast. So oh I, I, I truly... Delta's a wild one, and I know Lawman's been having some trouble with Delta as well. Uh, Delta's got some rogue agent pilots that are just out there. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Lobsters 100% I mean, sure feel pain when being boiled alive. My bro. I live in Massachusetts. I went to the Cape every summer. Okay. I didn't need a scientist to tell me those lobsters were desperately trying to crawl their way out of that boiling pot of water because they made the fucking kitchens at the Cape make a goddamn spectacle out of tossing these poor little guys inside of pots. You'd walk in and you'd see like a big tank of like 50 lobsters all looking through the glass at you as pe as children walk in and they point at one. They say, that one, I want to eat that one. And then a, the fucking, ke like the kitchen guy be like, yeah, all right, here we go. That's one of the biggest ones in the whole building. He's one of the oldest ones we've ever had. Picks it up, tosses it in. <laughs> <laughs> I swear sometimes I've heard like human screams from that thing. I don't think it's possible, but I know they make horrible sounds. Now, on a lighter note, can I get a picture <laughs> of a lobster in a boiling pan, but with the Skyrim, my ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know... I just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't say the same. <laughs> I can't it's say the same. I thought about it. I cannot <laughs> say the same lately. I I have also dealt with lobsters in the ocean. Man, they are fucking real pieces of shit. Really? Yeah, they are fucking assholes. Like I people act like all people assume that animals are all cool. Fucking wrong, dude. I haven't met a single good crab or crustacean oh, of any kind. <laughs> yeah. They are all little scumbags, little nasty bastards, and they will well, try to hurt you. They were raised that way. No, but, but they it, had a no, 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 no. They they crabs don't get a this was my parents' fault. No, they are ne they are by nature in my opinion evil little bastards. <laughs> and while yes, I don't think I should be tossing them in boiling water alive. I would still have. I would. St I'm still happy, and I rest easy knowing I get to eat them, and I quite enjoy doing it. I always think if I could raise one myself, and I still wanted to eat it, that's when I can justify eating it. But no, but if you raise it yourself, and then you still want to eat it, then you have to reckon with the fact that you really are the shittiest fucking parent ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're like oh, I raised cow chan. You grew up, I remember when you were a little mo- Well, I'm gonna cut your throat now, and we're gonna eat you for like the next six months. Thank you so much. That is psycho. I don't know- I don't know how farmers do that shit, dude. Well, like, there's- it's- it's better to justify it that way. They put in the- I guess, kind of cared for the nah, thing. Nah, dude, here's the Where thing. If I, had to, if I had to box. take care of anything for a fucking second, I've named it. I've given it a personality that it didn't actually have because I may I, it's all in my head. Yeah. My cats don't even know what I look like, I bet, and <laughs> but yet I feel like I know everything about them. I, it would be a lot easier for someone to be like, hey, you see that fucking stupid thing over there? Kill it, because we're going to eat it. I would be like, oh, yeah. But like, yeah. if you were like, hey, that thing's name is Dinky. This is Dinky. That's Dinky. The uh, Dinky's favorite color is pink. And yeah, you get you give it a it name and you give it hay. one factoid about their life, yeah. and all of a sudden I know everything. I know way too much to uh, yeah. hurt that thing. Which is why That's it was always wild that at that lobster store they would always say the animal's name and favorite color. And so then the children, oh, the children would cry when they picked a lobster because <laughs> the guy would go, this is Paul, his favorite color is red. And then they'd pick him up, they'd spike him into the pot. There's like three little lobsters holding on to it and one kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, that place was, that place was metal. All right, Cape, Cape didn't fuck around. 
How did they know what their favorite colors were? I don't know. How about you ask a lobster once in your goddamn life and you see if they tell you? Instead you, you of instead of just assuming that you, they talk. couldn't know. They asked you, bozo. <laughs> <laughs> you bozo. <laughs> David, what a wonderful day it's been. It's been good. Especially for me, who got paid far more than you for these last couple cleaning jobs. It's been a pleasure, David. It really has. It's been great. I've enjoyed it. But if there's one thing I know about my streams, it's if anything, if it go, every moment over four hours is fucking agony, and it's felt that way for the last two. So, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Uh, Godspeed. Godspeed. Um, thanks for coming on by chat. This was Dave five thousand and five on Twitch. He Thank streams. You. Yeah, that's all I got for you, baby. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna say nothing else. Thank you. All right, you it's know, been great, bud. You know the way out. Go on. All right. Can you? Okay. I would love to say this will be uploaded to YouTube, but we both know that won't be happening. I won't be deleting the vod though, so don't worry. Uh, but we both know it can't go on YouTube. I get messages from Brett almost every time now that say, Hey, bud, this one's so bad. Bud, pretty much everyone wants us, including YouTube. They all want our ass. So I'm going to go ahead and not even bother on this one. But it's been a pleasure. It really has. Good night. Goodbye. Forever.